their EEG activity will be tracked as they move expressively, as they move neutrally. It might look a little strange. I just noticed that the little flashing light is in a different place. But recently, five professional dancers agreed to perform some very specific movement, all while wearing monitoring devices, including these special caps with sensors attached that detect brain signals. Their EEGs will be recorded, their brain activity will be recorded as they move. The idea? Take in as much data as possible from multiple dancers over a two-day period to see what signals or patterns might be identified when the dancers perform similar movements. Why? It's all in the name of research. We are trying to understand how best to map brain activity into movement. Today is the culmination of two years of conversations. First, there's University of Houston electrical and computer engineering professor Jose Luis Pepe Contreras Vidal. He has been working to perfect technology that can understand human brainwave patterns, convert the brainwaves into motion signals, and ultimately help people with challenges like spinal injuries, move and control prosthetic limbs, or other machines with ease using just their thoughts. We hope that by studying uh, movement and emotion and all those uh, ingredients that shape movement, we can understand a little bit more about the generation uh, process. The research took place inside the University of Houston's Brain Machine Interface Systems Lab, which Professor Contreras Vidal directs. But this project is also helping University of Maryland College Park professor Karen Bradley who helped set it up and secured National Science Foundation grant funding. She is a movement analyst who directs graduate studies in theater, dance, and performance. Well, this is a very exciting collaboration with my colleague from the University of Maryland, who is a dance teacher and professional writer. Pepe and I met in a flamenco dance class and started talking about expressive movement. Bradley is interested in using the data gained here to try and better understand human communication. How we can help people be more expressive and clearer and articulate non-verbally. And this is brand new for us. Um, as you can see, the, the, the dancers, they move quite a lot and there are many artifacts uh, from muscle activity, from eye bling, from movement of the head. And we'll just get all of this data, huge amount of data, and then we're going to look at that data and we're going to see if we see pattern. And if we see pattern, we're golden. <laughs> at the University of Houston, I'm Mike Garrity.